everybody, it's Miss Sue, and welcome back to Learning with Friends. This week we're going to be doing the letter R, but first I want to say hello to some of my special friends who might be watching today. Hello, Leona. Hello, Austin. Hello, Leo. I'm glad that you're my friends. Hello, Isaac. Hello, Jordan. Hello, Lorenzo. I'm glad that you are here. So today we're going to talk about the letter R. R makes a R sound. It's kind of fun to make that sound, don't you think? Lots of things start with the letter R, and I brought some today to show you. You might have had one of these toys when you were a baby. These are rings. I also have a ring on my finger. Rings can be found in lots of places. You might have a ring toss game. Or you might see a ring around a tree. If you cut the tree and you see the rings in the circle of the trunk, your mom or your dad or somebody you know might wear rings on their fingers. I have a key ring. This heart one my friend Xavier made for me. But I keep my key on that ring. So there's lots of rings. And our doorbells ring, don't they? a ball, but a ball doesn't start with the letter R, does it? But a ball can do something that starts with the letter R. A ball can roll. Roll starts with the letter R. I bought some Play-Doh too, but Play-Doh doesn't start with the letter R, but we can roll Play-Doh, can't we? We just have to take a little bit and we just roll it between our hands. Look, we can make a little snake. So roll starts with the letter R. We might also eat a roll, a cinnamon roll, or a dinner roll with butter on it. How about a rainbow? It has all the colors. And which color starts with the letter red? It's this very top color here. It starts with the letter R, the red. And I brought a heart that's red to show you today. Roses start with the letter R. These are red roses. And I brought a red race car. Race cars start with the letter R. Sometimes they might sound like they make the letter R. They might go R when they're driving really fast. This is red too. And this is a R shape. Rectangle has two short sides and two long sides. Do you remember that when we talked about the rectangle? Two long sides and two short sides. So rectangle starts with the letter R. How about some animals that start with the letter R? I have a rabbit and a rhinoceros and a rooster. Cock a doodle doo. I also brought a ribbon. Ribbon starts with the letter R. And this is a rock. Rock starts with the letter R. And this is Rocket the raccoon. So there's lots of things that start with the letter R, aren't there? I have some coloring sheets for you on our website if you want to look at them. This one will help you practice writing the letter R, big R's and little R's, and has a rainbow on it. You need to color one of those colors of the rainbow red, don't you? This has some pictures of things that start with R. It has a rabbit, which we saw, and a radish. Do some of you like to eat radishes? They're a little spicy. And there's another rainbow and a robe. Do you ever wear a robe around the house? I do, it keeps me warm when it's cold in the morning. And a rose. And then this is a special paper. It has lots of letters in this square. You have to find all the R's. There are big R's and little R's and circle them. Well, today we're gonna look at our book that we started. Chemo to the Rescue. Remember our friend Kyle talked to us about his blood and the different cells. We know all about our red cells and white cells and platelets. And he talked about cancer cells, leukemia cells that were in his blood. And then he talked about chemotherapy. And we talked about the different ways that you might take chemotherapy medicine. You might take it with your mouth with pills or liquid. You might take it in your IV through your port. Or you might have to have a shot. But the chemotherapy goes into your body and it finds cells that grow fast, like cancer cells, and zaps them. Kyle made a drawing of a lightning bolt to be the chemo, to zap those cells. 
We always check your blood when you come to the hospital because sometimes chemo also zaps some of our healthy cells like our red cells and our white cells and our platelets. But you remember, we talked about, you can always go to the hospital to get more of those cells if you need them. So it says, zap, zap, ping, pow, Dr. Dan started my chemotherapy right away to destroy the leukemia. Wow, it worked so well that the leukemia cells were all gone after only a few weeks. Sometimes we test your bone marrow to make sure there's no leukemia cells hiding there though. But probably after you started chemotherapy, those leukemia cells went away. But we know even if they went away, we still have to give you more chemotherapy to make sure they don't come back. So Kyle says, but hold on. The fight is not over yet. We don't want the leukemia to come back. So I'll have to take chemo for a long time to make sure they go away forever. Follow me to the hospital. So he drew a picture of the hospital and his room and his family and all the people that work at the hospital that take care of him. And he talked about his Emla cream that he puts it on his port. I'm brave with magic Emla, he said. Time to put the needle in. Nurse Anna counts one, two, three. Now it's in. And Nurse Anna takes a blood sample. Time for chemo. Nurse Anna hooks me up. Chemo is ready for action. Beep, beep. Nurse Anna pushed the buttons on the pump. I'm high, I'm low, I'm going through chemo. No easy fight, I know, but I'm a superhero. We'll make things right with chemo day and night. Watch chemo zap it down and turn my life around. Against my will, I take another pill. It's going to take some time before I'm feeling fine. Be brave, be strong, and take away what's wrong. It's going to be all right. The future's looking bright. Chemotherapy affects cells that grow faster. Remember we looked at this page last week, like hair cells, and he was wearing four hats on his head. We thought that was a little silly, didn't we? And he was talking about when he gets anesthesia. That's the medicine that helps you go to sleep. He has to put on a special hospital gown. He can't eat or drink. So he watches TV or thinks about something else. And then they take his bed down the elevator and down the hall. And then a lady with a funny green hat puts a light on my finger. You guys have worn that light on your finger when you've had an LP or a bone marrow, haven't you? Then I choose a sticker, and next comes an injection that makes me fall asleep. See the nurse is putting some medicine in his tube? Sometimes you get some sleepy medicine if you have an LP or a bone marrow here. Some kids have their LPs without any sleepy medicine. I count one, two, three, four, and then I fall asleep, just like that. After a short sleep, I wake up hungry for lunch. I'm hungry, let's eat. Time to take a chemo pill. I put it on my tongue and float it down easy with lots of water. Down, down, down it goes into my stomach. Chemo goes to work right away. Sometimes swallowing pills can be hard. There's lots of different ways to practice and we've talked about that before, haven't we? Some medicine makes me angry or sad for no reason. And some medicine can make me really hungry all the time, but it won't be long before I feel like myself again. You can see he's there, ah, I'm angry. No, I'm not listening. Those are all scary feelings to have, aren't they? Unfortunately, chemo takes away some of the good cells too, so now I take a blood test so Dr. Dan counts how many hardworking cells there are in my blood. And we've talked about that before too. So there's the blood test and looking at all the cells under the microscope. So I think we'll stop here for today and take a little break, okay? Welcome back from our little break. I don't have Jamie with me today, I brought Buddy. Buddy looks at a little different, doesn't he? He doesn't have his clothes on. And I kind of made it look like he doesn't have any skin either. 
We've talked a lot about our blood cells and how they travel through our body, through our veins. We have so many veins in our body, they are so long. If we took them all out, we could wrap them around the whole world, they're so long. So Buddy has this little overlay we put on him that helps us learn about all the places that our veins go. And you can see even on Buddy's head, look at all those veins on his head. So our heart pumps our blood all around our body, delivering those red blood cells and the oxygen that the red blood cells carry so that we can think and be awake and be strong and be able to be active and move around. It carries blood to our kidneys and our lungs, all over our body. It's like little tiny tubes, little tubes that carry our cells around so they deliver the oxygen. Now the chemotherapy, when it goes into our port up here, the medicine goes right into our heart and phoom, our heart sends that chemotherapy all over our body really fast so it can help get rid of those cancer cells that don't belong there. But sometimes, there's a special thing that protects our brain. And so sometimes not all the chemotherapy medicine that goes into our blood gets to our brain to make sure that those leukemia cells or other cancer cells could be hiding. So that's why we do the LP. And then we can put the chemotherapy right into that area where we want to make sure there's no cells hiding. So this is pretty cool, isn't it? You can see the veins on the top of my hand. And if you feel on your chest where your heart is, bump, 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 you can hear your, feel your heart beating, or sometimes if you press on your neck, you might feel your heart beating. That's called your pulse. And when we're running, running, running really fast, our heart is pumping, pumping hard, and our pulse goes fast, fast, fast. But when we're quiet and resting, it goes slow, bump, 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 because our body doesn't need all those oxygens in the red blood cells to be delivered when we're just resting. But when we're moving and our muscles are going, we need oxygen and so our heart pumps fast. Thanks, buddy. So I brought some special stuff for our one of these things is not like the others today. This is all stuff that has to do with being in the clinic. So first, let's see, let's do our cells because we've done those before. And it's always good just to remember we have our platelet and our red blood cell and we have these two white blood cells. One is healthy and one is not healthy. It's a leukemia cell. One of these things is not like the others. One of these things doesn't belong. Can you guess which thing is not like the others before I finish my song? I know you guys all knew it was this unhealthy leukemia cell. It's not like the others. It doesn't belong because it's not healthy and it doesn't help our body, does it? That was an easy one. Let's see if you can guess this one. These are some toys from my Playmobil sets. Some of you have played with these before. I've got a cannon and I've got an IV pole and I have a scale and I have a nurse. One of these things is not like the others. One of these things doesn't belong. Can you guess which thing is not like the others before I finish my song? Well, let's see. One of the first things you do when you get to the clinic is we weigh and measure you to see how big you are, how heavy your body is and how tall it is. You almost always have a nurse that checks on you, right? Sometimes when you're in the clinic, you get an IV. But do we have any cannons in the clinic? We don't. So this one doesn't belong, does it? It's not like the others. All right, this one last thing I've got. I have a stethoscope. I've got a tegaderm. That's that clear plastic that goes over your port. I have the chloroperp. That's that little sponge that gets wet and stinky, cleans your skin. And got a port needle. So let's look at these things. These are all things we use at the clinic. One of these things is not like the others. One of these things doesn't belong. Can you guess which thing is not like the others before I finish my song? So this might be a little bit harder because these are all things that we use at the clinic. We use the tegaderm and the chloroprep and the port needle when you get your port accessed. 
but do we need a stethoscope to access your port? We don't. So this is the thing that doesn't belong. I hope you thought that one was fun. It's about time for our Learning with Friends to be over for today. I'm so glad you were here with me. We're going to finish by singing Row, Row, Row the Boat because row starts with the letter R. Row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Thanks everybody for being here today. I hope we'll see you next time on Learning with Friends. Goodbye, Jordan. Goodbye, Layla. Goodbye, McKenna. I'm glad that you were here. Goodbye, Jada. Goodbye, Arya. Goodbye, Pakara. I'm glad that you're my friends.